as a comic book collector, I want to make sure that I am protecting my comic books as well as I can. And one of the best ways to do that is by storing your comic books in comic book bags and boards. But there are a few different options out there on the market for comic book bags. So how do we, as collectors, know what's the best type of bag to buy to keep our books safe? Well, today, we're going to find out. Through a series of highly calculated scientific tests and experiments, we will be conducting the ultimate comic book bag review to find out once and for all which bag is the best at protecting your comics. So let's get started, shall we? Hey everybody, I am the Dude Without Fear, and thank you so much for watching this video. Today we are doing the ultimate comic book bag review. Uh, like I said, we'll be doing a series of tests to see what these bags can hold up against, and uh, we'll be trying to determine, you know, which bag is the best for collectors to invest in, and hopefully we'll be having some fun in the process. Uh, so let's meet our contestants, shall we? Uh, so all of our bags today will be Silver Age size bags. All of our boards will be BCW Silver Age boards, okay? So bag A comes from Comicare and it is a polyethylene bag. These bags are, uh, they feel really thick uh, they're really cloudy, as you can as you can see. Uh, they tend to yellow with age. Uh, if you buy a really old collection, uh, you're very likely to find a lot of the comics in bags like this. Uh, this is what you know you put your bags in today if you want it to feel like your collection is 30 years old. Uh, bag B is Ultra Pro Silver Age Resilable bags uh, these are polypropylene bags these are the standard almost every comic store I've ever bought comics from uh, the comic book bags are polypropylene bags so this polypropylene tends to be the industry standard uh, this is this feels a lot thinner than the polyethylene bags um, and these will wrinkle with age whereas the polyethylene will not they will stay the same, but they will become yellow with age. Uh, these don't. These can kind of change color a little bit, but they got to be pretty, pretty old to get that discoloration in them. Bag C is crystal clear OPP, and a lot of people might not be very familiar with these. Uh, I actually love these bags. These are from East Coast Comic Supply. Um, there, it's a very rigid, OPP is a very rigid bag. As you can see, it stands up on its own. Uh, it's very, it's somewhere in between polypropylene and mylar. And it's a, uh, I have been using these for uh, a few years now to store my personal collection in uh, because I just really love these bags. But uh, there are some issues with these bags. And uh, so I'll, I'm very curious to see how these will stand up in today's trials. And then bag D is from BCW. It is a Mylar bag. Uh, Mylar, of course, uh, is also very rigid. These are considered to be the uh, top class bags. Good things about these is you can store your comics in these for many, many years, while as all the other bags, except for OPP, uh, you really typically want to replace them about every seven to 10 years or so, uh, de depending on, you know, what, what they look like and things like that. But suggested replacement time is around seven years uh, for polypropylene. But for Mylar, uh, they are archival safe, uh, museum quality. These are, they are, it says on the packaging, museum quality. Um, so these are what you put your comics in and not have to worry about them for 20, 30 years, right? 
pretty dope. So, uh, that being said, uh, I don't want to damage any good comic books, right? Uh, I am a comic book collector and I'm a comic book seller. Uh, so I don't want to damage any good comic books. So all of the books being tested on today in the bags uh, will be these special preview editions. They were free of uh, Batman Earth 1. Uh, in my opinion, the absolute worst Batman comic that has ever been written. Uh, it's so bad that I don't even want someone to accidentally read this book. So I'm totally okay with this comic being destroyed. Our first test will be the drop test. There's nothing more traumatic than when you're bagging and boarding books and uh, you've got them stacked on your table, your desk, and all of a sudden the stack starts to slide and some of them fall and hit the ground. Uh, I hate to see that happen, but today in this controlled environment, we're going to be dropping uh, our four test subjects here and we're going to be seeing how each bag stands up to a drop now sure this could be uh, mostly the board protecting the book at this time but we're trying to do tests uh, to mostly real life situations that are bound to occur so uh, let's damage these these beautiful Beautiful bags and boards for science. So here we go. The drop test. I'll be dropping each one individually. Here is subject A. Adios, amigo. Subject B. Subject C. And subject D. Now let's see how they did. Bag A. can see that uh, this corner really took a beating and uh, the comic is pretty dinged up on that corner. That spine is just wrecked, if you can tell. Look at that. Woof. That was the drop test. Did not do polyethylene any favors. Bag B, polypropylene. So it landed on the opposite side, and the book itself is nicely still intact. Don't see any real damage done to that corner. So, good job polypropylene. OPP. It hit on the same corner as the polypropylene. And that bag is in good shape still. I thought that it would bust the seam because that's one of the quality control issues that I have experienced with OPP bags. Uh, but it is not, that seam is not busted whatsoever. And it is in tapped, and the book is in good shape. Bag D, Mylar landed on the same side as the last three, as the last two. And the board took most of the hit, but nothing 
really on the comic. Maybe just the slightest ding on the corner there. Yeah. No, it's good too. Still perfectly intact. So the only book not to survive the drop test was bag A, polyethylene. So we all love a nice tasty beverage when uh, we're reading our comic books uh, or we're organizing our comic books. We're, we don't like to go thirsty. So uh, it's very plausible that we would spill our beverages on a stack of comics we're human after all so let's see how these bags stand up to the spill test first up we have bag a the polyethylene oh no my book oh i'm such a butterfingers now we will dry off each bag because in a real world situation we're not just gonna leave the comics laying there right so we will draw off each bag and then we'll test them out comic bag B poly propylene oh man I'm such a klutz look at me spilling my water all over my comic book oh my goodness dry it off bag C OPP bag D mylar Well, I can honestly say that there is some moisture inside the Mylar bag because that bubble won't go away. All right, let's open up the bags and see if any of the books have any water damage. First up, bag A, polyethylene. I have to say that the bag dried out pretty nicely. I mean, I did the test like five minutes ago, wiped it off and sat it on the table uh, as I did the rest of the tests. I don't see any signs of moisture inside the bag. I don't see any signs of water damage on the book. So polyethylene passed the spill test. Bag B, polypropylene. It also dried out nicely. Still some moisture underneath the, the flap on the, the resellable part. But I see no signs of moisture on the book. So polypropylene passed the, moisture, the spill test as well. Now this one I'm kind of worried about. Bag C, OPP. Because as I was doing the test, so the bag and the drop test had not split at the time, but something happened and it did split at the top. Uh, I didn't either, I didn't notice that or it happened a few minutes after the drop. It's also split down here at the bottom. I hadn't dropped it again. Uh, I didn't do anything but move it from one location to the next. Uh, so, that drop may have actually done 
more damage than we thought. And with these giant gaping holes in the bag, this one's kind of small, but this one's pretty significant. Uh, did the bag protect the book from the spill? Let's find out. Still pretty good amount of uh, water under the flap here. I want the other side of the bag. It has ripped now too. Let me uh, wipe off this water underneath this flap here on the back. See, so as to not uh, get the book wet as I'm taking it out. I would be pretty surprised if uh, this book did not get wet in some way. I don't see any moisture, any water damage, any on the board. Nope. Even with these gaping holes, it protected the book from water damage. Good job, OPP, even though you obviously failed the drop test. You put up a strong front, but you did not fare too well. And then, bag D, Mylar. Uh, these all dried out really nicely. Still some water underneath the flap here. We'll dry that off so as to not wet the book on our way out. This is the one that had the water bubble inside because I just wiped it off with my finger. But there is no signs of moisture on the book. So all four bags passed the spill test. Now on to the next test. Now, for our next highly scientific test, I'm going to need an assistant. So I will be calling on the help of my pal, Bucky here, who is a puppy. He is about four months old, and he loves to chew on everything to include me. Uh, so, he's going to help me conduct the puppy test. Bag A. Bag B. Buggy. Hey, buddy. Get it. Get it. Oh, yeah. You, you eat that crappy comic. You take that comic. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah. You teach Jeff Johns a lesson. Yes. See, this ain't Batman. This ain't Batman. Oh, yes. Get it. Get it. Oh, yeah. Get it. Oh, Buggy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Bag C. Hey, Buck. Hey, Buck. Get it. Get it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Get it. Oh, get that comic. Get that crappy comic. Oh, yes. Bag D. Here, Bucky. Get it. Get it. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Hey, where are you going with that?
All right, let's see how these books fared against the puppy test. Bag A. Now he really gave this bag a good what for. You can see he pierced the bag with his puppy fangs. A lot of teeth marks in the bag too. As you can, I don't know if you can see that too well. There's a lot of teeth indentions in the bag. Honestly though, on the comic, I really only see two places. There's a spot up here and a tooth mark. Or something similar right here above my thumb not too bad considering the shape of the bag so not a bad job polyethylene bag B polypropylene uh, he gave the bag more of a fit on the back of it there's definitely some teeth marks in the front of it as well Oh yeah, he chewed the crap of it out up here on the front. Definitely some teeth marks in the book. I don't know how well they'll show up on camera, but you can see there's a pretty significant one there. And then another one above it. And then a bunch of scratches here. Uh, so polypropylene did not do as good a job in my opinion it, it was handled less uh, it was handled with more care than the polyethylene so that's kind of interesting bag C OPP speaking of PP and the Take a leak off camera. Oh man, this did not do good at all. Like the bag has some chew marks on it. Like you can see where he's been, where he chewed on it. Uh, the other bags looked in worse shape than this bag, but this comic is destroyed. Look at all those teeth marks, man. Golly, dude. Scratch marks too from his paws. This book is chewed up. His bags almost had it too. Not a whole lot left on this bag, to be honest with you. I mean, look how much is left here and then it's almost fully open here. It's just held together barely at the top. OPP is not faring too well. And uh, Mylar, whew, he went to town on that Mylar. Some grass on it. Ripped it. Ripped it right here. Let's see what he did to the book, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, that book's got a bunch of, bunch of scratch marks up the side here. Some teeth marks in it. Yeah. Honestly, the polyethylene protected the books, protected its book more than Mylar, polypropylene, and the OPP. Polyethylene is the clear winner of this round. Bucky, thank you so much for your assistance, my friend. I appreciate it. Oh, golly. Ow, bro. On to the next test. So up until this point, all of our tests have been 
pretty realistic for the most part. Realistic circumstances that our books could find themselves in. But now let's have some fun with it. All right. Now we're going to do a probably unrealistic situation test. Uh, maybe, maybe you live in a bad part of town. All right. And maybe uh, someone shoots up your house. Okay. And maybe the bullets find their way into your collection. All right. That's not super unrealistic. Will any of these bags stop a bullet? The only way to find out is by the bullet test. For science. All right, so let's see how our bags did against the bullet test. Bag A, as you can see, uh, took some damage. Uh, what I think is cool, I've never actually seen a comic book shot by bullets before, uh, so this is very interesting to me. Uh, in the back of the bag, you can see some uh, little confetti from where the bullet just blew through all the comic. Uh, so yeah, so polyethylene, not going to uh, protect your books from a bullet. Nor will polypropylene. Uh, shot this one less than uh, the, poly, the polyethylene, but results are the same nonetheless. Uh, OPP. You know me, uh, and you got beat up with the bullets too. No surprise. And mylar. I shot the trap out of the mylar. Uh, I don't. I just I just kind of wanted the mylar to to survive, but it really didn't. And it really uh, the bag, the book fell towards the end of me shooting it too. Uh, and it really, uh, really damaged, damaged that bag. So not a whole lot of bag left on the OPP and the Mylar uh, for the final test, which we will be moving on to now. I have our four test subjects and one incredibly old comic box. Our final test, ladies and gentlemen, fire test a few moments later all right so as we all probably guessed there is not a lot of protection from fire between the various types of bag. Uh, but I'll still go ahead and show you the results. Here is uh, bag A, and right below it is bag B. Over here is bag C, and then behind it is bag D. All nice, crispy piles of ash. So what did we learn through our calculated scientific experiments on all of these different types of bags. Well, I don't know about you, but I learned that OPP bags that I really enjoy storing my books in uh, are not very good. They don't withstand drops very well at all. The seams bust open very easily, uh, at least with East Coast Comic Supply, and that's been my experience. I've used them for about two years now and that's honestly been my experience with them uh, for the entire time uh, but they also did not do well in the puppy test whatsoever the that book was the most damaged book of the four and uh, I will say they did protect against water very well and considering that the seams were busted open that's very impressive to me uh, obviously they didn't do anything against a bullet or fire 
um, but uh, it kind of makes me reconsider using these anymore uh, just because they're not that great uh, the mylar also uh, during the bullet test it also busted at the seam at the bottom uh, so these rigid type of comic book bags OPP and mylar uh, they don't withstand against drops very much uh, OPP especially I mean that bag was just basically destroyed so what else did we learn? We, we already knew that bullets probably uh, would not be stopped by a, a comic book bag, uh, nor would fire. I did learn, surprisingly, that it took a long box a really long time to actually catch fire. I, and I had to help it. I had to put paper in there to help it burn. Because uh, it didn't really want to burn on its own so that's good to know right if you've got long boxes they're not just going to just set a be set ablaze instantaneously uh so you've got time to get the fire out around it and stuff like that so that's i think that's good information to know i'd say the most important thing that i learned though is that i have been severely underestimating the quality of polyethylene comic book bags uh, my opinion towards them have all has always been Ugh, I don't like them I don't like how they feel I don't like how they look but they do what they are supposed to do and they do it very well uh, their main purpose of a comic book bag is to protect your books and they do that exceptionally well uh, they performed the best by far in the puppy test and they kept the book safe from water and they I don't know how much a bag actually helps with the drop test uh, but the, the drop test was the worst one this was the worst performer in the drop test but that could also be how it landed and it could also be because it was it was it, it was kind of the only one that landed on the spine all the other ones landed on the other side uh so that's kind of not a fair judgment against it but in all honesty we don't know how much a bag's going to protect in a drop anyway it's that's probably more the board's uh territory but the bag could help uh, these are definitely thicker bags. They have a, a thicker feel to them than every other bag that we tested. But I've just been severely underestimating how effective these bags are. Do they look the best? Absolutely not. Do they feel the best? No way. Uh, your books are going to look way better and feel way better in Mylar. I still think that Mylar is king but I will no longer think that these are trash bags. Uh, I would store Bronze Age and Silver Age books in these over polypropylene any day because polypropylene is going to wrinkle up in like a month or two and it's going to look like an old trashy bag where I know this would look good in 20 years. So for me, honestly, if I was storing older books, I would go Mylar first, and second option would be this. Uh, and I never thought that I would choose polyethylene over polypropylene. Polypropylene is just the standard bag, but I think polyethylene outperformed it. Uh, that puppy dog test was really the, the big eye-opener for me because Bucky went after all these books with the same ferociousness uh, each one and polyethylene withstood it and that's impressive so uh let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video i hope it was informative i hope it was entertaining and educational and all that jazz so if you liked this video give me that thumbs up if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscription button and that notification bell so that you get notified of when I upload new content. Uh, more content is on its way. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, be excellent to each other. Don't forget, collect without fear. Take it easy.